for he will give his angels charge concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him, and honor high with a long life I will satisfy him, and let him behold my salvation. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, shalt thou trample under feet the young lion and the dragon. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Thank you for the blessings and mercies you have bestowed upon me. Today, I come to you with a flaw in my character. I'm having trouble keeping my cool and controlling myself sometimes. So, please give me the strength to be self-disciplined and the will to avoid everything that contradicts your word. Assist me in living a righteous life that pleases you. Assist me in speaking and acting in ways that bring glory to your name. Assist me in avoiding persons and locations that will encourage me to continue with this bad behavior. Give me control over anything that compromises our relationship and assist me in doing things that will bring us closer together. God didn't create Adam for Eve. He created Eve for Adam. She was his missing rib. I try and try to find the person that God created for me, which is and has been futile because he didn't create somebody for me. I was created for someone. There's someone out there who is looking for his missing rib, me. So I need to stop looking and let him find me when God wants him to find me. I also realize that I need to love God more than that person and that that man needs to love God more than he loves me. I never liked that thought, but now I understand it. By loving God the most and giving myself to him completely, I can more fully love my spouse and help him get to heaven. You may be struggling with your feelings for a person, but remember, you are somebody's missing rib, so let him find you. Please share this video to your good wishes and to those who want you to be successful. Type Amen. Thanks for watching. Angel is saying to you, Fear can make you believe that your path ahead is uncertain and that happiness can only be reached by knowing in advance the outcome of your prayers. I am with you today, helping you clearly see and feel the divinity of your path. You are protected and guided by powers much higher than fear. Release your concerns to me and know that all is well. Your brand new life begins now. Your thinking is changing. Your attitude is shifting. Your mindset is focusing on what's important and you are no longer affected by the past. 
You've learned your lessons and now you are ready to move into the brighter future with a soul full of love and happiness. Now you will be receiving your blessings knowing you've deserved this. You're really not asking for a lot. You're just looking to secure what brings you comfort, peace, and prosperity. These are the core tenets of your birthright and the universe will never say no. What's meant for you already is. Just show up for it. Find the joy that exists in every single moment. It'll feel like things are taking forever to materialize, then it'll feel like it's all happening for you overnight. This is your time. There's no need to claim what's already here for you. A new chapter in your life is about to start. This chapter is going to bless you in a major way. A big miracle will happen for you. You're overflowing with joy, peace, love, and understanding. Things are going to work out for you. Everything you are worried about won't matter soon. Long-awaited change is coming your way. Let go of the old and embrace these new blessings. It is time. You know my heart. You understand my deepest wants and needs. And you know my every intention. You know me better than I know myself. There is nowhere I could run to escape your presence and nothing I could hide from you. And that's why, right now, I am asking you to give me your divine wisdom and guidance. Even though I may feel like I can't move forward or see what's ahead, you see me and you know me. So please guide me. Show me the paths that lead to abundant life and convict me when I am tempted to stray from you. Direct my steps as you guard my life because I want to glorify you. I will never get tired of saying thank you because you never get tired of waking me up each day. Thank you for extending my life, Lord, for the chance to live with my family and loved ones. You are the only reason I made it this far. Today, I open my heart and mind and invite you to live within me. I want to start this day with you, O oh God. I know you're always with me in every step of the way, leading and directing my every step. I embrace every challenge of this day and with your strength, everything is possible. May this day be filled with good things from heaven and answered prayers by the light that pierced the darkness. Thank you for saving me, rescuing me, and redeeming me. I am so grateful that I can rely on you at all times. When I start to feel anxious, afraid, alone, or overwhelmed, help me to remember that you are with me and you have overcome the world. Because of you, I am safe. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we begin this day, we echo the words of Lamentations 324, declaring that you are our portion, and in you we place our hope. We are grateful for your unwavering faithfulness. Please help us, Lord, to remember that our true fulfillment is found in our relationship with you. In times of uncertainty and challenge, may we trust in your promises and find unshakable hope in your presence. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I am helped. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Don't entertain negative energy. Some situations will test your patience and try to make you overreact, overthink, and respond to things that don't deserve your life force. Your attention is your power. Don't feed what doesn't add value to your life. Protect your energy and embrace your power. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on my high places. You have also given me the necks of my enemies, so that I destroyed those who hated me. 
He delivers me from my enemies. You lift me up above those who reese against me. I'm learning that one of the marks of a mature Christian is the tenacity in studying his motivation behind what he does or doesn't do. In becoming self-aware or conscious, he examines his underlying motives. Our fear, lust, pride, jealousy, anger, etc. are very well known to God. God wants us to become more aware of it ourselves. When we examine our heart, mind, and will as Jesus taught us to do, we become more authentic, humble, and gracious. Jesus said it is not just what we do or don't do that God is concerned about, but the reason underlying it, which is why Jesus extended the commandments beyond our actions to our thoughts and motivations. When we practice this self-awareness, truly looking at ourselves honestly, we stop defending ourselves and start repenting. This humble act is God's Holy Spirit revealing truth within us and transforming us into His image so that we can live out the greatest commandment of loving God with our whole being and loving others as we love ourselves. It's really cool. You want to be passionately in love with Jesus as much as you can, but please don't beat yourself up about this. Be prepared for the seasons when you'll barely hang on to God with an intellectual thread and other seasons where you'll be so head over heels for Jesus that you're getting tattoos of him on your rib cage. Be ready to be honest in your dry valleys and be ready to rejoice on the mountaintop. Enjoy both seasons because both help you grow and both have significance in our lives. The winter and fall teach you to grow deep roots into God even when you don't feel him and the summer and spring are those powerful weeks of blooming fruits and plentiful harvest that will have you laughing and weeping at the same time. Soon you'll also see, loving Jesus is not even really up to you, because he's the one who woos, who draws, who beckons, who calls. Loving him is the easy part. God loving you cost his son. The more you know that it's less about you, the more free you will be to love God all the more. Words can't express just how